You know, what's on my mind tonight is uh, hockey, uh, NHL playoffs. The Jets and the Predators are two of the bigger teams, more physical. The Jets are the, probably the biggest teams in the playoff. And the Predators are pretty good size. Not overall as big, but they got those big defensemen. Both teams, those big defensemen, don't let anybody come near that net. They both got uh, fantastic goalies, uh, Rena Pekka and uh, Hella Chuck for the Jets. One's 35, one's 24, both the ends of candidates. Goaltending is solid. They stand on their head in the playoffs, and that's what you got to do. But what I like about both teams, they don't hang on to the puck a long time, whether it's a power play, especially the power play, or just five on five. They get the puck, they pass it, bam, they're shooting. They're always shooting the puck. I've noticed that in particular about those two teams. They're always shooting the puck. They're getting it towards the net, towards the net, towards the net, towards the net. Then they just get those guys on the rebound. And the, the greatest example tonight, just before the end of the first period, uh, Boston took a shot on net. It was slightly to the right, bounced off the boards, back around to the other side. Boston guy's right there, slams it in, goalie doesn't have a chance. To me, that is far more effective than this passing back and forth, especially on the playoffs, especially on the playoffs. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. In fact, I believe it was Jeremy, Jeremy Roenick, uh, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia last weekend during that game. He said the Flyers, they were behind by a goal or two or whatever they were behind. He said they need to just aim the puck towards the net. They need to get to the net. Aim it towards the net. You have to score. You're desperate. You must get the puck on the net. And they weren't. And he made note of that. So I'm not the only one that sees this. Anyways, let's break away right now. Let's go to Jay and uh, Pierre Charles. Take it away, boys. Picture, yeah. Tell me about the draft. What's going to happen tomorrow? Vikings taking the lineman? Man, got to see about I don't know the Vikings. How about the Patriots? Are you going to take a quarterback? They might. Do the Wolves have a prayer in hell of winning another game against the Rockets? No, it's over tonight. Do the Twins have a prayer? In Oh, any kids around? Christopher. Sorry. Do the Twins have a, a, a chance in HE double hockey sticks of being the Yankees ever yeah, at Yankee I, Stadium? I don't know. We're struggling now, man. We're getting beat by five plus like, two days in a row. 14, 15, 14 no. won, uh, on the other day, but now it's 8 to 3 last night. Who do you think? Who do you think? The, who, what are, who are the Browns going to take? Which quarterback? Hey, are they taking a court? Who? They're taking, uh, what's the fast with Lamar Jackson? That's who they're going to take. Yeah. And who Who's, who's the running back? Shaquan Barkley? Browns. Who's taking him? Hey, the draft starts the Jets. tomorrow, right? Jets? Yeah. Oh. Lamar Jackson going first. Yeah. And what do you think of John Gruden and the Raiders? Are they going to do diddly squat or is it just hey, a hey, hey, high hey, price hey, nothing? Hey, hey, hey. Raiders over here, I got a feeling. I got a feeling his he gonna lose the the respect of his players. He, what do you he, think that for? He gonna bring that old school mentality with all that screaming, and he got these new school players that ain't gonna tolerate that. So I huh. feel like by week seven, he gonna lose them, and they ain't gonna want to play for them. Any 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 of you follow the NHL? Uh, I mean, he's old. Uh, he's still, I'm well. telling you, I'm telling you right now, if you're a big hockey guy. Nashville Predators against Winnipeg Jets because those are the top two teams are going toe to toe in the two big big teams. As far as this NHL divisional format, I love it. A lot of people don't. They want the top seed against the lowest seed. But what I like is you've got the top two teams in the league playing right now. And they're just going to duke it up because they want to get to that next round. So it's going to be a bruising battle. So let's just go down the list here real quick. You got uh, Winnipeg against um, Nashville. You get San Jose against Las Vegas. Wow, Las Vegas, the expansion team. To get all those players and put them together and have that kind of chemistry this early, their first year to do this well, not only well in the regular season, but they're in the second round convincingly in the playoffs. Then on the other side, the winner of Boston and Maple Leafs. Come on, Maple Leafs. I love Boston too. I love that city. Two of my favorite cities, but the Maple Leafs haven't been in it forever. Uh, it's a tough call, actually. I love Boston. I love to see them in it. Who doesn't like the Bruins, right? Uh, anyways, the winner of that game takes on Tampa Bay, who's a quick, not the, one of the smaller teams in the league, but they're so quick and well-oiled and speedy. That is their secret. And then you got the other barn burner on that side. You got the Capitals against the Penguins. 
I don't know if they hate each other or don't like each other. I just know they're highly competitive against each other. Each doesn't want to lose to the other. Last year, the Pens took out the Capitals in like game seven of their series. The winner goes to the Stanley Cup. Ovechkin's got a chip on his shoulder. They all got a chip. TJ Oshie's got a chip on his shoulder. You know, but then the Penguins looked, looked awesome against, excuse me, the Flyers. I mean, they are they play hockey the way you're supposed to. Their teamwork, they don't hang on to the puck too long. They're always getting people on the net. They're always shoot, 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 get on the net, get on the net, pass a little bit, bam. They make great plays, and then they've got great defense. So 